Grade 11s, welcome to our revision series on surface area and volume. We'll be focusing on volume in this lesson. Volume is the amount of three-dimensional space an object occupies. Volume is measured in cubic units. Mathematics is so full of different formulae and terminology that we try to find ways to make sure we understand more so that we need to memorize less. We will explore this as we will work with volume and later surface area of right prisms. First, let's revise the definition of a right prism. A right prism is a geometric solid that has a polygon as its base and vertical sides perpendicular to the base. The base and top surface are the same shape and size. It is called a right prism because the angles between the base and sides are right angles. Let's look at other solids and see if we can identify right prisms. Have a look at these two figures. Figure A stands on its base and the vertical faces are at right angles to the base. So, figure A is a right prism. In figure B, however, we can see that there are some vertical faces that do not meet the base at right angles. So, figure B is not a right prism. Provided you can identify the base of a right prism, you will find calculating volume of any right prism quite simple with the following formula. The volume of any right prism is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height of the prism. Let us look at an example on calculating the volume of a right prism. Here is a prism. Do you think it is a right prism? Yes, it is. To calculate the volume, we use the general formula for volume of a right prism. Area of base times height. So the volume is equal to half of one side of the triangle times the perpendicular height multiplied by the height of the prism. We substitute in the values we are given on the diagram. The volume equals half of 18 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 8 which is equal to 720 centimeters cubed. Before concluding, let's revise what happens to the volume of solids when the lengths of the sides in the solid are enlarged or decreased. Consider a rectangular prism with dimensions of 6 meters, 3 meters, and 2 meters. This is a right prism. So the volume of this rectangular prism is area of the base multiplied by the height of the prism. This gives us 6 times 3 times 2 meters, which is equal to 36 meters cubed. Let's see what happens to the volume of the solid if we double each dimension of the rectangular prism. Each side has been multiplied by 2, giving us 4 meters, 6 meters, and 12 meters. Volume of a right prism is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height of the prism. In this case, the base is a rectangle. So the volume is length times breadth times height. 12 times 6 times 4, which is equal to 288 meters cubed. The dimensions were each multiplied by a scale factor of 2 but the volume is increased by a scale factor of 8. Let's look at this in more detail. The volume of the first rectangular prism is 36 meters cubed. The volume of the prism with doubled dimensions is 288 meters cubed, which is 36 times 8. 8 is equal to 2 cubed. Do you remember that we multiplied the dimensions by a scale factor of 2? Volume is a cubed measurement, so it makes sense that the scale factor would be cubed too. We can therefore conclude that if the dimensions of a solid are multiplied by a scale factor of k, the volume of the solid will be multiplied by a scale factor of k cubed. Thank you for joining us. Remember that if you've had trouble with these concepts, look at our website for more resources. You will find practice questions in the revising area and volume task video. Until next time, keep practicing. It's the key to improving your mathematics.